up, you guys. And yeah, we're in the shop, and it's Monday. You guys never see me make a video on Monday, but since I didn't make two videos on Saturday or Sunday, I decided to make a payback and just make two videos, one for Monday, one for Tuesday. And then take a take Wednesday off, then actually you no, know, I'll be making videos all this week because I make videos on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So yeah, some things that I got at the shop that my mom got for me is this good old picture right here of the Chevy truck. Hey, look at that. It's in there. And coat hangers made out of brand new spark plugs. And I got my fancy little calendar. But I took the head gasket and the oil pan gasket back because I found the kit that I'm going to buy, thank you from Mike, a good friend of mine, looked something up. And I'm going to look at this piston and make sure it's not an STD standard piston or if it's bored over 10. So I'll get back with you guys. Alrighty guys, I'm back. It only took a good five minutes. The only thing that I find on this, the only thing that I found on this piston was, is this A. Nothing else is under here. It's really nothing. I don't know. Let me let me scrape away all this. Maybe there's something underneath here. Be right back. Yep, that's the only thing I can find is the A. So I don't know. Tell me down in the comments, Mike, Nick, if you watch this video, anybody that's good with Cub Cadets, what does the A stand for? Does that mean it's a standard piston? Because if it was bored over, it'll have a point three zero for thirty thousands, or point ten one zero, you know, for ten thousands. But I don't know. Tell me down in the comments, and hopefully, because if I get this uh, kit online, it's thirty o it's thirty thousands over, so I have to bore this motor out big time. So. Yeah, that's all I can find. But people are saying, oh, you should just find another motor for it. It's the cheap route. No, it's like, no, it's not the cheap route because you can rebuild a motor cheaper than you can find one of these and take a risk of it being good. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Haven't worked on that. Got as far as taking the air cleaner off. Still haven't had the uh, ambition because, you know, I got school. And, yeah, I don't know when this guy is supposed to bring by this tractor that I'm supposed to look at because if it's going to cost too much, he said I can just keep it. And then if it's not going to cost so much, they're going to pay me to fix it and stuff and get it going. So then he's going to bring by a push mower too at the same time with the tractor and have me look at that too. So hopefully, I'm not saying I'm going to push it, but hopefully if that mower, uh, that lawn tractor ain't going to make it, I'll keep it, then I'll put the money into it, I'll use the motor out of it, and if it's a 7 speed, we're going to stick that in the racing mower. Instead of having a little three speed, we're gonna have a seven speed. So I'm not gonna hold my breath, but we're just gonna see what it looks like and we'll, we'll go from there, you know? So, yeah, let's go outside. Not too bad out. There's the 104. There's the 1450. I know I gotta put the tarp back up. But, for right now, I rebuilt the motor. Put it all back in it. That's where she sits. I still gotta put the dry shaft in it and stuff. Not too worried about it. But here's the racing mower. This is where it sits. Next to my shop. Almost where it was. This is where it was sitting. 
There's the plow. There's the motor. And its final resting spot. These look. This coil is all jacked up. Like it turns over, but I'm not. I don't want to put no money into it because the starter is 110 bucks. I just want a running and driving racing mower. I don't want a $200 racing mower that's just gonna get, you know, beat up, you know. But I put everything back on the 104, you know, just temporary. You know, clutch is all good. You guys seen all that in the other video. But yeah, everything's just on, mocked up for right now. So yeah, hopefully we can get this frame all cleaned up, push it back into the shop, and push it back out, put it underneath the tarp, or just leave it like this, and start rebuilding that motor. Getting it tore down, so when the new parts come in, all I gotta do is slap them on. So yeah. Let's go to the junkyard. I have no oil to start up that. Then you make a stand. Got to put that back up. Got to put my gas tank back up. I'm telling you, the last two days we had winds that were tremendously windy. That blew over everything. Just between those cracks and the fence, blew that thing over. And that thing's pretty heavy. Back here is just some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, five horse quantum made in nine to four. Last time it ran, it was on the power washer. Has ran ever since. So yeah, a John Deere push mower. Got to get that dug out. My daily push mower that I mow with in the backyard only. X transmission. You know, you guys seen this spot, you know. You know, I haven't cleaned up ever since. I got the tractor out of here. So there's miscellaneous wood. Pipe. Whatever that is. So yeah. Extra mowing deck for that yard man, which turned into the racing mower. <sighs> and it just goes on and on and on. But, hopefully, I'll be getting some more stuff in here to where it looks more like a junkyard and we can do junkyard videos. You know, come back here, get something running, and try to get it out of here. Like roadkill, you know. But, nice long video for you guys. What I might do is get my J-pipe out, put it on this, and I'm going to listen what this thing sounds like. I haven't heard a J-pipe in a while. On a 6.5. You know, I gotta push this back into the junkyard. So I can, you know, work on it some more. Uh, there it is. But, for now, this is my homemade J pipe that I made a while back. Yeah, I wasn't quite the welder back then but it, it it works it holds and we're gonna throw it on that motor and I'm gonna fire it up so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do today off camera by myself give me some time to you know smell like gas and yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up comment down something below what you guys want to see next do you guys want to see more videos of the teardown, of the rebuild? You know, just tell me down in the comments. Don't be afraid. So, until next time, tell your family, tell your friends, tell the homeless person that sits in front of your house every morning, and tell them all to subscribe to me. So, until next time, yeah, see you guys later.